The following training is sponsored by the Niagara Library System. We serve our member libraries in Niagara, Orleans, and Genesee counties. Please visit your local library homepage and use your library card to get access to streaming videos, downloadable music, audiobooks, ebooks, and even more from the comfort of your own home. Thank you. Hello, good to see everyone. Today's lesson uh, video is going to be about voicemail. I'm going to start first with Verizon. I believe that's one of the biggest carriers in the United States. So that kind of covers a lot of people. Um, but I'm also going to show you how to um, find how to change your voicemail for your own carrier. So if you use Boost or T-Mobile or AT&T or something like that, um, you can certainly find these types of instructions like you see on the screen uh, for your own voicemail. Uh, first off, uh, this actually came to me from a, 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 there was a thing going out on social media. You might have seen that if, if you're ever stuck in the woods or you're lost, change your voicemail greeting to where you are. And that was kind of bad advice for a lot of things, but I don't know if you don't have any other options and you think you can call your voicemail and change your greeting. I, I, it's better than nothing, I guess. Um, but I will mention, and I mentioned in the video, in order to change your voicemail, it does require a very strong, let me just pull this up uh, like I usually do, requires a very strong cell phone signal. So if you have a strong cell phone signal, number one, you're probably not really lost in the woods, although you may think so. <laughs> uh, and number two, if you think you're lost, call the emergency services. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, but it, it, this is what prompted it. So I was like, well, what the heck? I will go ahead and run a video on how to change your voicemail greeting. And to be honest, I haven't changed my voicemail greeting in probably 15 years. So I did have to look it up. Um, here it is. Now this is the, uh, again, starting with Verizon, uh, how to actually set up your basic voicemail and um, it, it tells you right here you dial or call star 86 from your handset and uh, you can you'll get a system greeting saying that uh, your voicemail hasn't been set up. Um, you can press the pound key right there, the hashtag to uh, interrupt the greeting. And then you do have to listen and follow the instructions for choosing your language options and press your pound key to uh, confirm your choice. When prompted, you create a four to seven digit password or pin, press your pound key. And then when prompted, you say your signature or name, confirm it, um, and you can also have a personal greeting if you want. That's really it. The, the basic is to dial your voicemail, and for Verizon, it's star 86 uh, to dial your voicemail, or let me see if I can find this right quick on here. Um, all right, if you look at, so I'm gonna put this right up near the camera. It is the number one key. On the number one key is a little, it looks like a reel-to-reel -reel tape. Uh, it, it's a pair of eyeglasses. I don't know, it looks, uh, uh, that's what it is though. If, if you press and hold the number one on your keypad, that will actually dial star eight six for you. But the idea is you have to press and hold that and then it will dial your voicemail and then you get into it from there. Now, one of the other things that I noticed is, uh, it says right at the very top here, and I kind of skipped over that. Um, this is really kind of for Android, and uh, if for iPhone, it says refer to your Apple iPhone. So I did pull that up, and uh, really very similar. From your home screen on your Apple iPhone, you pull up your phone app, and it shows it right there. It's a little green phone, and uh, it has the exact same symbol, that kind of little reel-to-reel -reel tape, um, only that symbol on the iPhone is actually on, as you look at the screen, it would be on the lower right-hand side of the phone screen instead of on the number one. Okay. If you are unsuccessful right there, it does say right there, you can dial star eight six to manually set up your voicemail still. So great. You can then tap on your iPhone set up now. And uh, if set up now doesn't appear, your voicemail has actually already been set up. 
You can simply tap your greeting in the upper left of the voicemail screen, begin at st uh, step six, okay? If we skip down to step six right here, it says tap record to begin, and when finished, you tap stop, and then you can tap done or save. And if you need to set up your voicemail again, you will need to enter in your password. And this one, instead of four to seven digits, like it was for Android, it's four to six digits. You re-enter the password and you tap done. You can customize your greeting and then done or save. Now, do not fear. If, if I'm going through this too fast or you're looking at this and you're like, I don't know what it's saying, don't worry. All of this will actually be prompted when you dial into your voicemail. What you can do is you hold your phone up to your ear and it will literally tell you these prompts as you go. So you can either, if you're in a private area, you can put your phone on speaker or you can go ahead and um, do what I do and you listen this way and then bring your phone down and then tap the prompts and listen again, okay? Also, so you know, and I will uh, put this in on uh, the description of the video, uh, this is a very nice little PDF of your uh, star eight six, what they call your menu tree. And this is exactly what you're prompted for when you dial into your voicemail, when you try and set it up, or when you go and retrieve a message. Uh, number one here is to listen to your messages. Number two is to send it. Number four is personal options. And you can disconnect either using the little star button or you can just hang up the phone. There's actually different prompts for while listening. So you can actually make the voicemail go slower. Uh, that's four, four, or you can make it go faster. That's six, six, <laughs> okay. Uh, cancel, help, you can skip. Um, there's different prompts for after listening. Again, I'll have all of this in, uh, this link here will be in the description of the video. And uh, to change your personal greeting, which is what we talked about or what prompted this particular video, the personal options right here is number four. So when you go to personal options, if we skip down here, number three is the actual uh, greeting. So if you're going to change your greetings here, right down here, you can change your personal greeting. That would be number one. You would tap one and it would tell you to record your personal greeting. You go ahead and record it. And when you're done, it'll tell you again to press the pound sign. You can re-listen to it if you need to. You can save it then and then you would end up changing your personal greeting. But there's lots of other options in here for Verizon. Let me just move over, um, let me pull up a basic Google page. So let me move over another tab here. And um, what if you, are, you have a, a phone, but it's not a Verizon phone? Maybe it's AT&T or it's Sprint or something like that. What I'm gonna do is again, in a basic Google search, and now I already did this, so it might pop up quickly. So if I type in, change my voicemail, AT, it does say, reset my voicemail, AT&T, all right. So, or how to change my voicemail, AT&T, I'll bring my mouse down and I would click or tap on that choice. And when I do that, Google pulls up the first result here happens to be from the AT&T forums. Forums are places where people can ask uh, questions and get answers. And uh, this, then this one right down below is actually from att.com slash support. And this is record your voicemail greeting. So um, I like either one of these would be good to click on because they come right from att.com. That's really important. I don't wanna click on just any link to get my information. So if I click on the uh, att.com for support, it tells you right here, okay, you're on the uh, AT&T website and it gives you all of the detailed steps for uh, changing your voicemail. And interestingly right here for your wireless phone, press and hold one or the voicemail key. Pretty much similar to what Verizon does as well. But you can find detailed steps for any of the carriers uh, that you might use. Again, things like T-Mobile, um, Cricket, Boost, uh, Mint Mobile, any, any of the carriers you might use. Good luck. I hope this was helpful and we'll see you in the next one. Bye now.